Hey guys, it's Isaiah here from PlayStation Universe, and today we're playing Arslan the Warriors of Legend. This game from Koi Tecmo launches today, February 9th in the US, and Friday the 12th in Europe. It's a tactical hack and slash game. Just played through to review it and uh, wanted to show you guys some gameplay. It's got a great look to it, blending a couple of different anime styles for the cutscenes and battle sequences. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into some mechanics here. Show you uh, the three varieties of the Marden Rush, which is a new mechanic. It's a special attack that summons a, a group of troops to you. There's uh, three different kinds, as I said, with infantry, cavalry, and archers. The uh, infantry and the cavalry are both charge type attacks, so you can uh, lead your troops around the battlefield, and uh, the infantry have a long range attack shown there and the cavalry have a, uh, a boost to their speed which makes them do more damage shown there. So you can control them until you uh, reach a certain point which activates a short cutscene as you take out an obstacle. And here's the uh, archer here which allows you to direct long range attacks. Right here we have some split, split screen gameplay. I thought was a nice feature. Also features uh, online gameplay. You can fight through the story. Alright, the rest of the video is just going to show a little bit of gameplay and the special moves for each of the 15 characters. So I hope you guys enjoy. セモン付近で劣勢を演じ城内の敵を追い引き出せばよいのだなはい大切に春巣軍は我々だけでは本気で苦戦しているとは思わせるこうっておくと厄介なことになるかもしれないならば俺とお主で奴を追おうみんな
As enjoyable as the game is, I did feel like the $60 price tag is pretty steep, just considering the slim amount of content available. Um, it took me about 10 hours to beat it in the normal mode, but even then, half of that was cutscenes, so you're only really looking at 5 or 6 hours of gameplay. Um, but if you do love the Dynasty Warriors games or other Koi Tecmo games, maybe it's still worth it to you. Um, if you want to, go ahead and comment below and let us know how much uh, content you think should be in a $60 game. But uh, here's the last couple characters here, which are actually uh, bad guys that you can uh, play after you defeat the game. But yeah, just uh, just let us know your thoughts on that. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And again, this is Isaiah from PlayStation Universe. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.